Alright, so this lovely afternoon we're testing out this stand-up build. This is coming from all the information I got from Black Ice 2020's last live stream, but also my own. Because I don't know his attributes, but I know something. I don't know if he does. So, you see these numbers, the cost? He knows that the cost is what matters, not the number itself. The number matters. It's sort of like a, a control of how high up it is, I guess. But the cost is when the attribute changes. So, right now, from, from 86 to 91 is all the same because they all cost 20. But then when you get to 92, it costs 30, and then you're up to the next level of it working better. So what I realize is, unless it's 30, it doesn't matter. Even if it's higher than 30, I feel like that's even weird. It gets weird when you go above 30, and it doesn't work at all when it's below 30. So all of my important attributes are at 30. 30 recovery, 30 vision, 30 rebound control, and the higher up it is, the better it is, I think. But all I do know for a fact that 30 matters. I don't know if it if it changes anything if high or low. I don't know if 84 is the same as 88, 30. But I put them as high as I can just to be safe. But yes, 30 is all that matters. So I have 30 durability and endurance. I have 30 rebound control, 30 vision, and 30 recovery. And it's been amazing. It's been working much better than maxed out recovery and maxed out everything else. I don't, I need to keep testing. I need to. Like eventually I'm going to test out attributes higher. I know for a fact until it gets to 30 it doesn't matter. But I want to see if I get it to 40 or 50 or max. If it changes anything for the worse or for the better. Or at all. But right now, for the time being, supposedly, all of my attributes, all of my important attributes will be at 30. So we're going to use this stand-up build. It's going to be great, because I already used it in a 6s game, and it worked amazing. It has more effort than all of the butterfly builds and hybrid builds. What up, Sean Pete? Hey man, listen. I appreciate you a ton, bro. If I can make any if I can make just one goalie better at the game, I don't care how many subscribers I have or likes, if I can just make one goalie better at the game from my videos then my channel was a success. Alright. But I'm not really a build creator in this game. I used to be. Not so much anymore. Because this game is probably the most complex build game. Because everything matters. But it's a matter of how or what matters, you know? And that's the thing I have a hard time with. So I'm going to leave all the build information for Black Ice 2020. If you want build tips and stuff, go to Black Ice 2020's channel, not mine. I'm more of a play style and gameplay tips kind of guy. It should be a good game. Whenever I see a team with Elite Edge everywhere, I immediately think they're going to be good. They're either going to be really good or really bad. Or we cannot start. Wait, our club is surrounded by 
people who have uh, that are 0 one and one, but we have 29 wins and double digit everything, and we're surrounded by clubs in the ranks with barely any games played. Yep, told you. These guys are crazy. Usually when they have elite edge everywhere, they're gonna be good. So this will be a good showcase of this build. If I give up a bunch of goals, then that's not the build's fault. This is a rule of thumb. You can tell if it's your fault or the build's fault from this. If the puck goes straight in, then it was your fault. But if it bounces off your blocker, bounces off your glove, trickles in, then it's your build's fault. That's a rule of thumb. Very seldom it's not the case, but most of the time that's the case. They're going to have a computer. The game's going to kick that guy out. What? I just got a I just got a lost connection. I guess their club leader lagged out. I thought I got booted. Nope. Didn't deserve it, but I'll take it. Oh, I'm plat two finally. I've been plat three for months, weeks. Listen, we take the wins how they come, Sean. A win is a win. You saw the win screen. You saw the plus RP. A win is a win. <laughs> that would have been a good game, though. I wish that went through, even though I knew they were better than us. I want to really secure this build because I want to I want to secure it for tomorrow night's games. Stay tuned for tomorrow night. Put it in your calendars. I have two games tomorrow night in my league, eight o'clock and eight forty five. All will be one live stream. So I want to secure this build and if or when I secure it, then I'll use it tomorrow night because I really need to get my revenge. The last place team beat us Monday because I made stupid mistakes. Uh, you can even look at the live stream, see what happened. I have it on my live email bacon YouTube channel. It's a second YouTube channel I have where I post all the uh, all of the past live streams and I we're going to be playing them again tomorrow. So I'm going to get my revenge. There's nothing more satisfying than getting revenge in this game, honestly. Uh, for breakaways, I'll say this first, penalty shots and breakaways are completely different because 
on penalty shots, I swear the skater gets a boost in the game's code. And no matter what you do, you really need to bail out or else it's going in even if you were there. But on breakaways, you just got to play out. Don't stay back the whole time. Because if you stay back the whole time, you're just basically guessing 50-50. But if you want a higher chance of guessing right, you need to move back with them. It doesn't have to be at their exact speed. But if you're a little bit slower, then you'll need to butterfly slide. So you got to move back with them. It's much easier to follow their moves. So go to the top of the crease. Maybe even go a little bit further. Don't move back too late or else you're done. You got to move back. Find the timing to start moving. It'll be easier to follow their moves. That's what I do. And I've had good success. But don't beat yourself up for breakaway goals. There's still going to be chance and they're still going to be hard. It's something when you play this game long enough, you're going to pretty much learn automatically how to save them after you play for a while. So as a beginner, I wouldn't worry about them too much. Just go through them with experience. You'll learn. Skaters tendencies and stuff. I don't flying poke check. You can flying poke check if you want. I don't though. I don't flying poke check. I want to make the save. Because too often. <sighs> because too often I flying poke check. Either I miss or it connects and bounces to a skater trailing and I'm completely out of position. It will work sometimes, but I'd rather just try to make the save. I do fake flying poke check though, like I fake it. I move up but then move back again. Make them think I'm gonna flying poke and they almost always go forehand. Oh, their goalie was almost out of position. Welcome. These are the kinds of things you find in the live streams and nowhere else. Saw you a mile away, boy. I actually think open one-timers when it's wide open, I find it easier to save than if there's a defender there. Because I know exactly what's going to happen. But if a defender's there, it bounces more. Half the time, defenders are just setting a screen. Just remember this for breakaways. The skater's only goal is to get you out of the way. They're not trying to just make it easy for you. They're going to make a couple moves. So whatever move they make first is never going to be the shot. So I wouldn't even follow the first move. Follow the second and third move. You want minimal amount of movement. Sequence. This group has to figure out a way to generate. 
Boston's on the attack. Quick shot, and he easily stops that one. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Uncle Larry's finding a way to limp himself back to the bench here and finish his shift, but man, it's been a tough one. He got injured somewhere in the midst of it, showing a lot of heart and passion here as he's committed to staying on the ice for his team. Destined for greatness has got it, and they're on the attack. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Oh, it stops him again. That was almost a gimme with him shooting from that area of the ice, James, and the goaltender makes a huge save to keep it out of the net. Oh, did not see him. That was a really good play because my camera wasn't low enough. Ugh. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm going to blame that one on low stand. But I know that's not why it went in. Did the rebound bounce right to the other guy's stick? Yeah, D-Man was nowhere to be found. It, it was a in zone turnovers will always be hard. I literally went to scratch my nose. Like, see, like you're not ready for them. Oh, how'd that go in? I need to look at that one again because I have no idea how that went in. I don't even know where it went. Oh, that was a good time to do it. Wow. He just straight sniped me five hole. Oh, it bounced off this guy's stick. What are the chances of this? Oh, look at this. What are the chances of it hitting his stick and going five hole? He tipped it. <laughs> That makes me feel a lot better. Now that I know it's not the build's fault. When stuff like that happens, there's nothing you can do. What else could I have done differently? I thought that looked weird. It felt weird. Yeah, I mean, when it bounces, the thing is, how this game works, after they shoot, the goalie's animation's already locked into its first idea. It doesn't change when it bounces. So the animation said, no, nope, we're not going to cover 5 hole. Oh, that was my me. Shouldn't have slid. But they are getting everything in front of the net. So I'm going to have to stay off Butterfly for the rest of the game, pretty much. If they stay, if they keep getting things in front of the net, sliding is the worst thing you can do. I'm going to have, all right, I need to be a little bit more quiet. I, mean, I need to try and hold this. Oh, I had to save. Why would you trip him? Like, I can tell you, even if I'm there, this is almost automatically going to go in, so I literally need to bail out to one side. Takes a deep breath, and here we go. I can tell you right now he's going forehand. Oh. Well, I saved it anyway, so it don't matter if I'm wrong. At least he went back. Oh, why is my going on the floor? Yeah, if they have a shooting attribute for penalty shots, you really need to bail out. But he didn't have any shooting attributes or he just went backhand for some reason.
and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Boston's got it across the line. Rochester's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Boomer. Play whistle dead offside the call. Yeah, Sean, and just so you know, just so, I already said it earlier, but just to, uh, if you want to look at these streams back, they're not going to be on Twitch forever because Twitch automatically deletes them after 14 days. So if you ever want to see these back, go to my other YouTube channel, Live Email Bacon. It's the same logo, it just has a red circle on the outside. It's where I put all of my stream archives. That way it's there forever and anybody can look back at them. They can look back at specific parts or tips that they don't get in videos. Oh, nice try. Hey, you're already two steps ahead of me. I see you. Alright, I need to look back at their... I need to look back at one of their goals. It's not the five-hole trickle in one, it's something else. I can't remember what it was though. I just remember I said to myself, I need to look back at something. Oh yeah, that... I don't know what I'm talking about now. It was their first goal. I need to look back at their first goal. But so far, the build is not the problem. If I was using my butterfly or hybrid with this same playstyle, I probably would have let in five or six goals. All right. So I made the save. It bounces exactly to his stick. He doesn't even shoot, but my goalie's still in mid-animation, so he can't recover. But you see what I mean about effort? Most builds wouldn't even get a second animation. It would just trickle in clean. He tried the goalie's computer DNA. Went through every possible animation. That was the best one it could find. There was nothing the build could do there. I like the effort of a goalie. Even if it goes in, I want the goalie to try as hard as he can. Oh. Hate those. When you don't know which guy the pass is going to go to. Get it away from the net. The bounces are going crazy right now. 
Yes. That's the one problem the stand-up build has, and it always has since the history of time. The build just, one, either can't hold on to rebounds, he sucks at covering them, or the rebounds always go right to the skater stick or is bouncing like crazy. Stand-up has always had that issue. But I don't want to take off any of my perks to put sponge on. I like the perks I have. If I had a third perk, then everything would be better. <laughs> Got him. Momentum is real. And it's happening. Oh, and there it goes. Like, I can go to almost any one of these saves that I have, and it would be a weird bounce. What is this replay? This is supposed to be one of my saves. What in the world? <laughs> A uh, hybrid is good. Go ahead. I actually have a hybrid build oh. that I might use if this it's like a backup build if this stand up doesn't work out. The, the hybrids work, man. Yeah. Um. I will say this: you need to play differently for stand ups than you would for hybrids or butterflies. When you use a butterfly or hybrid build, you have to be in butterfly more than you would with the stand-up. Stand-up, I'd never go in butterfly unless it's after a save. But with the butterfly, you need to be in butterfly when they're... or hybrid. Butterfly or hybrid, you need to be in butterfly when they're streaking on the goal line and running at you. Because then it's about to go five hole. Or butterfly sliding for cross creases almost every time. Because for some reason, butterflies and hybrids don't get as good animations when you're standing up and when they're close. So it's just one of those things. Wait, the comment, did they say someone got hit in the bench? I want to see it. I've never seen it yet. Alright, my dialed in is kicked in now. I had 15 saves, so unless I totally screw up in positioning, good night. My build is about to make a ton of saves that it shouldn't. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Trying to shake off the defender. Makes it look easy with a pass. What? Why did my goalie die for it? <laughs> did you? Yeah, but the thing is, remember this, when you're in butterfly, with hybrids or butterfly builds, your goalie has, bump, it bumps his save ability up to 70 and 80% when usually it's at 50. So when the, when the puck is close. So 
he will get crazy animations. You just got to trust it. Of course, if you're out of position, you're not going to make saves. Nice save. Oh, my goodness. What a save. I've never seen that animation before. But something that will help you out a lot is if you put butterfly effect on your build in gold. Because then it really secures it. Look at that rebound. That was about to go right to the other guy's stick. Oh. Yeah, when you unlock it, Butterfly Effect goes crazy. But it's not like you're in Butterfly all the time. You still stand up for 90% of your saves. You just have to be in Butterfly a little bit more. Yeah, almost every hybrid build you see either has butterfly effect or post to post. Most of them have butterfly effect. I'm not a big fan of post to post in gold. I'd rather have it in silver. Because the silver perks act as a boost to the gold perk. Yeah, don't butterfly too much. That's, that'll get you in trouble. Yeah, don't make bad habits of butterflying too much because then you'll slide when you don't need to. Like I did for the second goal, I think. Look at that save. What is that? He just suplexed his own teammate. Yeah, I'm using the old controls. Old controls all the way for me from now on. Unless something changes. I want to look at their goalie save. That was... Oh my gosh. Front flip? What? <laughs> he straight suplexed his own teammate and bats it out of the air with his blocker. <laughs> yeah, Tether is nice. Yeah, go for it. Don't let anybody tell you Tether is trash. You can, if you can figure out how to, fi how to play with Tether, which my video helps you do that. My uh, first NHL 24 video. You're going to be better than any other Tether Controls goalie that hasn't seen that. Or that doesn't know how to do it. Yeah, I know it was the pad stack spin, but he's still... That was crazy looking. You never see that in you successfully, or at least to that advantage. That was crazy. Oh gosh, I don't like tips. Tips are the only thing I feel like I can't control. Yes, that's an advantage of the tether. Moves it over to a in front. Oh. Boomer's taking it from his own end. Along the half wall with the puck. What a steal in his own end. Slick feed. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. 
Because that's the thing many goalies with the old controls have problems with. They look at their goalie too much, so it's harder to read the plays. They're worried about being out of position. If they, oh gosh, that couldn't have gone any worse, but it didn't go in at least. This is horrible. I'm just going to hold it from now on. This is horrible. Just get away from my crease. Every time it goes near my crease, you bounce it in. Can the puck please stop bouncing? <laughs> we never pick up the puck. Never. It's always them right in front of the net. Uh, oh well. See, those go in a lot more. When they lose the puck and then shoot without them having full possession of it, it feels like it's a lot more accurate and a lot more powerful. It's like a bomb. Yes. Oh my gosh, how is this going to end? I really need to hold this. I don't think I can let in another goal. All the way. They were trying so hard to set that up. Look at this. We can never get it out clean. Every time. Oh my gosh. That might be the game. That penalty right there. Hmm. I want the stick out of the way, actually. There we go. Alright, the stick is out of the way. I just don't want another thing for the puck to bounce off of. 
score. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And they get the puck out. I'm seeing plenty of animations that I don't see ever with dialed in on when it's activated after 15 saves. It's like you unlock animations. All right, we lose, unless we miraculously score shorthanded. But I'll try my best to hold this. Oh my gosh. Wait, is it on them? Nope, it's on us. There's no such thing as defense right now. We literally need to get him. Uh. Oh no, that was for the championship? For this club? Oh, I feel terrible now. No way. Now my whole team is leaving. The, the party. They're so mad. Because this was their club. These guys play together, I think. I feel terrible. I would have... Man. I feel kind of bad, though. But what do they expect? We're playing against Platinums, and we're Golds and Silvers. Yeah, that was a close game. Thank you. Yeah, that was a close game. That was... Man, if I could have just... Which gold did I have the highest chance of saving? Not this one. That, that first one was just complete bounce. What was this one? Oh yeah, this one was another bounce. So that's two bounce goals, count it. Two bounce goals, because that bounced off our defender's stick and down five hole. What was this one? It would probably be this one. It would probably be this one if any of them I could have had back. I would want this one back, because I think I could have saved it. I slid. Wait a minute. I mean... It, in the game standpoint, this should have been goalie interference, though. His knee touched my pad. No, but it didn't really interfere. What was this one? Oh, yeah. Another, uh, that was an end zone turnover. Bounce right in front. Craziness and then shot. So, yeah, if I could get that third goal back, I would maybe give my team a chance. But you would have pad stacked and panicked. Listen, that stuff works more than you think. Sometimes when the puck is going crazy in front, I fly and poke check. But you need the all or nothing thing on. So. Let me make an extra build. I'll put it down here. Yeah, all or nothing changes the flying poke check animation. But I need 87 poke check, and I don't know if that's... I'd have to sacrifice my quickness attributes, or uh, my durability and endurance. And then I would probably sacrifice no timer. Because what I do is, I don't just do it for 
breakaways and stuff, which those are good too. But when the puck is bouncing in front, you don't know where it is. I fly and poke check and the goalie literally pokes it out of the zone. And what I like is he doesn't get up. He stays in the pad stack. So just in case if he misses, he's still there to make the save if they shoot. Are we playing fours? All right. So the build was successful. I don't care how many goals I let up. I more care about the saves I made. I would only care about the goals I let up if it was the build's fault. None of them were really the build. It was just a lot of bounces, which I guess you could say some of them were the build's fault if they were bounces. But when you have 30-something shots, you, you've got to expect some sort of crazy goals to go in. Oh crap, which one was I using before? I think I was using this top one. Uh, I need to check. I have two stand-up builds that look exactly the same, but that aren't. I don't want this one. I'm actually just gonna, can I just, yeah, I'm just gonna throw it away. All right. All right, screw it. You know what? I'm going to use the all or nothing one just to see how it affects the build as a whole from removing the no timer. So this isn't really me testing out the, uh, the all or nothing, which I guess I could, but I'm more of testing out what would happen when I remove no timer, because I don't think I've done that yet. Is it, is it mandatory? Hey, you know what's funny? Last year, NHL 23, this is almost exactly what my build looked like at the end of it because po the all or nothing attribute, perk, whatever, gave you better five hole. And that was crazy news. So I had it on all of my builds. But this year, 5-hole doesn't seem that dangerous. I actually let in more 5-hole goals as a butterfly or hybrid than as a stand-up, which you would think it would be the exact opposite. But I'm just saying what I see. It's still not much, but I let in more with other builds.
I thought we had six guys in here. Nope, we only have five. Hmm. Alright, well let's use this time valuably then. I don't like wasting time. So let's just check in here. I don't use the computer one-on-one -on -one practice much anymore because it's not as useful as it used to be. The computers are so weird where they let in things that humans don't. Like I, goals go in in this mode that don't go in in game. So it's not really a good way to test out builds, but I'll just do it for fun. How long has my number been 24? It's supposed to be 14. How long has it been like that? I don't pay attention to these things. I haven't changed anything since I first opened the game. You know what? I know when it changed. It changed after the last update. Because I remember I had to change my name and stuff back. And I guess I didn't change my number. There we go. Oh, I'm doing it for my skater, not my goalie. No, I'm doing it for my skater, not my goalie. Where's my goalie? There it is. Need to change it for home, away, alternate. I wish it would change for all. Oh! Wait a minute. Does it change for both of them? Please tell me it does. If home is now 17, I'm gonna go crazy. Yo, this is now 17. It changes for all of them at once. Yes! Yes, I don't need to change it three times. That's incredible. Thank you, EA. Oh crap. How did I... What? How am I already at 698 subs? I ain't talking about Subway. How did I gain... I gained 33 subscribers in 28 days. I don't know why. <laughs> mm. 
Yo, I only need two more subs and I'm at 700 subs. That's insane. I have a feeling these guys are going to be good. I don't know why. I just have a feeling these guys are going to be good. Because they built their build sets on purpose. They have a tape to tape at center and then two one T's on both sides. That's not an accident. They, they set that up on purpose. That makes me think they play together. So this will be a true test of this build then. I don't have no time around anymore. I have the all or nothing. So I have no no timer. So I want to see, does he let in goals that he usually wouldn't? Usually one timers. Because if he gets there but it bounces and then bounces in, then that's because I don't have no time around. It's like the post to post starts the animation, but then no timer finishes it. It secures it. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. The Rebels play along the boards. And he slides it quickly to the rock. They're going to be looking for the one-timers all day. Oh no. That bounced in. I don't blame things after one goal. I'm just saying that bounced in. That didn't just go clean in. And you heard what I said earlier. A rule of thumb. I don't like those kinds of goals. I'll have to see it a couple more times, though. Two times it's like an oh no, and then when it three times it firmly it's firmly established. All right, they got me back. Nice pass. The ace has played along the wing. Sends it down low. Now a quick pass to Bergeron. Near the point. The one time rocket. Oh, fantastic save. Lightning quick reflexes. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Oh, he targeted his opponent. 
uh, I need to remember, I'm using a stand-up build. I'm not using a butterfly. So I don't need to go down too much. Pretty much ever. I just get nervous because I have PTSD. Save. Oh my gosh, two bouncing goals, two trickle-in bouncing goals, and I was holding Y, just in case, didn't happen, I don't know, I don't know why no timer would change the build like that, maybe it's post to post, but I'm just saying, I, you saw I changed nothing else but the perk, and these kinds of goals are happening all of a sudden, you saw None of those kinds of goals last game. You didn't see them go clean in. The closest thing you saw was it bounced in front. And then to someone's stick and then they put it in the net. It never bounced through. All right, two trickling goals, that's what I don't like. Yep. 
Alright, so this one went to my glove. And it just straight, he missed it. See? Missed it. Just straight missed it, hit his wrist, went down, went in. This one went to his... Oh, I just looked at the same stupid... This one went to his blocker, and then went crazy. And then it went in, so... Those are the exact kind of goals that go in when I know it's the build's fault. So, I know it's the build, I just don't know if it's because I took off no timer, or if it's because I put on no post to put, uh, all or nothing. Oh wow. That's a goal. That was crazy. Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of Oh my gosh. He poke checked and it moved his goalie off the post. New York's really changed the complexion of this game. Look at this. We're all evened up here in period number two, Cheryl. Yeah, and to do it at the beginning of the second is key. You really want to dictate pace a direct message to your opponent and they do that with that goal unable to reach that one the aces move the puck in the defensive zone handles the pass slips the pass in front oh and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front Mali's got the puck near the back end picked up by the rock And now he angles it across to Ovechkin. Rocked on the play. I the don't think it's no timer's fault. I think it's all or nothing's fault that these goals are going in. I don't know why, and I don't know if it's the same for all builds. I just know no timer. I don't have no timer on some of my builds, and I make saves. No timer is not mandatory. It, it's for one timers after all. Post to post or a all or nothing it does weird things right now. I don't even know why I pass it out. <laughs> this comes right back to me. But I don't really need all or nothing anyway. It's not really something I. Use. I was just putting it on just to see if no timer is mandatory on a stand-up. Talk about going in butterfly too much. You have? And you said you have the all or nothing on? That'll help me out a lot if you uh, if you say yes. If you have all or nothing on as well and you've experienced the same thing, that helps me out. That saved me a whole step. Oh, got him. Okay, dude, that that's perfect then. So I'm just going to take the all or nothing off. Even if we're both wrong and it's not all or nothing, I still don't even need it. So I would rather just not take the risk and just take it off. If it doesn't give me any advantage, then... I don't want to risk any disadvantage. It seems like those are only going in when they're close though. I'm still I'm making saves when they're out. Of course not every shot is going to be trickled. But 
pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. Well, I really like them working off the one three one sequence. That they I wish after a certain point in the game, people who just got the game wouldn't have to level up to unlock all the perks. The perks should automatically be there. It takes too long to unlock all the perks. It took me forever. Because you need to get to level 50. Alright, so I'm just going to do my best to hold this then. I'm just going to have to fumble through. Because like we we clearly saw, the difference is night and day. Last game you didn't see a single trickle in goal. All right, thanks a lot, dude. You're helping me out a lot. Now I don't need to test it with 50 other builds. Oh, you live in Scotland? Now, there's got to be something over there near Russia and stuff. Wait, no, Scotland. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, and the, like near the UK and stuff is pretty dead. I don't know why I was thinking. Finland. <laughs> Listen, man, I have somebody that joins my live streams that's from uh, New Zealand. He's His name is Pinky. And now I have someone from Scotland? Bro. What time is it for you over there? I shouldn't have thrown it out. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's got to be really late or early, depending on what way you float your boat. It's got to be really late over there. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of 7 p.m. Oh, that's not too bad. I was expecting something in the a.m.s. 7 p.m. ain't bad. It's actually... Dang, that, that's tough. But don't give up, man. You got some German guys that play. I'm sure you're one of the better goalies over there. Nobody probably even thinks about goalie. Probably barely think about hockey, so even thinking about goalie. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock p.m. over here in Michigan, USA. I don't know why. That's what I don't like. That right there, you saw that? Every, almost every time the puck goes back to the guy. Mm. 
Yo, if you look on Reddit, look up, or uh, if you don't have an account, create an account and just search in the r slash eashl say looking for sixes league in europe servers there's got to be something out there that's what i did to find my league Somebody will pick you up, give you the game times, you'll be good to go. New York's in transition. Mali's got it along the wing. Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the boards by Bergeron. And that's deflected off someone in front. Oh, front flip. Nice save. He's making more saves while out of position than in position. I got it. No, to keep going. I thought he was going forward, but he skated toward me. Yeah, threes is tough for goalies. Well, I know I'm not using this build ever again because, well, I, the last two goals aren't the build's fault, but still, I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with the occasional bounce in goals if I don't have to. To so these guys I'm playing with, I'm probably looking like the most inconsistent goalie ever. They saw me last game, and now they're seeing me now. Yeah, trip happy, giveaway happy. They like to pass through our slot instead of just go. Watch, he's going to pass it through the middle. What did I say? He passes it through the middle every time. You're just asking for trouble. Like, stop passing it through the middle. Oh my gosh. It's going to be a turnover again. Oh, good goal. That's not safe hockey. Exactly. He passed it through two people. I'm glad it didn't get picked off because it caused a goal. But that could have just easily been another turnover and then a breakaway the other way. It's that easy. Like, pass it to... There we go. Green was wide open that whole time. This game is looking like a threes game. Shoot short side. No. No, their goalie has been letting those in all day. It was wide open. The shot lane was wide open. Oh my gosh. I think if skaters could see as much as goalies can, like us goalies, since we're just sitting here watching, we see so much more than the skaters do. If they could see what we see, there would be much better teams. I'll tell you, all, and if they saw what we saw, 
there'd be a lot more or a lot less people complaining about the game because it would be a lot of real goals. We need to take this to overtime. We're not good enough to score clean. We just need to get fortunate. So we just need to take shots. We're way too sloppy right now for some reason. We were good earlier. <laughs> Only one guy. Does he speak the other language? Uh, German guy. So does he speak German? Can he translate what you're saying? First of all, no, even if they did hear what you're saying, they wouldn't listen. People do not like listening to their goalies. They hate it, actually. They don't say anything, but they hate it. If teams would listen and treat the goalies as an advantage rather than an annoyance. Yeah, well, can I translate? But if teams just were patient enough and listened to goalies that can see much more than them, but they don't want to admit it, then you would have the best team in the world. That's like a coach. Now, people don't like it when one guy coaches, but it would be an advantage. Goalies can see so much more. I don't know why that's a problem. Like people complain that nothing goes their way, but they're doing the same things that aren't working and that haven't been working. Oh! Yes, half the, of the teams don't even talk to each other. Like they don't even call a face off. And then those are the same teams that complain nothing is going their way. You gotta talk to each other as a team. We're not teammates, we're brothers. This build makes me feel insecure. Like every shot, I kind of clinch because I don't know if my goalie is going to save it or not. And that is not what you want. You want an aplomb goalie. Oh my gosh. Well, not clutch anymore. <laughs> This is what I mean. Now, defenseman... Oh, I went to go to the replays. No, you're good, man. I meant to go to the replays, but... I said earlier, I literally said this. It's much easier to save a cross crease or a one-timer when it's wide open. Because I know exactly what's going to happen. I can see it. I can read it. But then a defenseman is thrown in the mix. Sure, that's cool. If they're good at defense... But half the time, that kind of garbage happens. If they pick it off, or they don't pick it off at all, so it make it tricks my brain. I'm like, oh wait, did they, did they pick it off or not? It adds too many question marks to my brain. All right, I'm just gonna throw this build in the dumpster. All right, that's gonna be it for the stream. I'm getting tired. I'm going to go eat something. Appreciate you for joining or anybody else that was joining anonymously. Catch you all next time. Catch you tomorrow. Uh, eight, 
8 o'clock and 8.45 p.m. I have no idea what that is in Scotland time. Yes, pat decking. I don't do it because it's just, I don't know, it can be a little bit unorthodox and I'd rather just try to save it clean. But I understand what you mean. Um, but yeah, so I'll catch you all tomorrow. I don't know what 8 and 8.45 and 8 translates to from Eastern time to Scotland time, but catch you then.